Russia might drag another unrecognized state into the war against Ukraine. We are talking about the so-called Transnistria, officially the Pridnestrovian Moldavian Republic. De jure, this is the territory of Moldova, de facto, an unrecognized republic controlled by the Kremlin. The other day, a series of explosions took place there. The first incident occurred near the so-called Ministry of State Security. They were not far away from here. There were three explosions and people fled. I live here, and they already called and said that it was blown up. First they said grenades, then they said from a grenade launcher. Several fired grenade launchers were found near the building, but who used them to shoot is unknown. Meanwhile, the main intelligence directorate of the Minister of Defense of Ukraine reported that local officials knew about the preparation of this terrorist attack a few days before. With this document, one ordered to other to set up a protected civil defense post. After the explosions in the center of Tiraspol, the so-called local authorities announced the highest level of terrorism threat and they said they would soon make a decision to ensure the security of the quasi-formation. What is interesting, immediately after the incident, Russian state Duma deputies began to comment it. There is no doubt that there will be not only this, but other provocations, intimidations attempts to get people to flee from Transnistria once they should at the Ministry of State Security. I think this is a common attempt to intimidate people who have already been ranked as enemies and opponents. Russia announced further explosions through its deputy. And we didn't have to wait long for them. The next day, two communication towers were blown up by known individuals. According to unconfirmed information, something exploded at the Tiraspol airport. I think it's a provocation. I'm shocked. I don't know what to think next. Meanwhile, kilometer-long queues appeared on the border between the self-proclaimed Transnistria and Moldova. People left the unrecognized region in mass. After all these events, Moldovan President Maya Sandu convened a meeting of the Supreme Security Council. Afterwards, she said that the explosions in the so-called Transnistria were attempts to endanger peace and security in her country. Among the reasons for the deterioration of the situation in unrecognized Transnistria, she named tensions between security forces within the region. This fact makes the region vulnerable and creates risk for Moldova. We condemn any provocations and attempts to involve Moldova in actions that threaten peace in the country. Chisinau still insists on a peaceful resolution of the Transnistria conflict. Employees of the so-called Ministry of State Security of Transnistria decided to tell who is behind the explosions in the unrecognized region. They wrote a letter to one of the Moldovan editions. They emphasized that the destabilizing actions were coordinated by the Major General of the Main Directorate of the General Staff of Russian Armed Forces. He created an entire intelligence center, which included at least eight people, despite the fact that there are already about 1,500 Russian troops in the region. The Kremlin calls them peacekeepers, but in fact they are the occupation forces. They have been in Moldova since the late 90s when they supported local separatists. One of the group's task is to protect the arsenal near the village of Kovbasna, a few kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Soviet artillery shells, missiles, air bombs and ammunition are still stored there, in total more than 21,000 tons. The explosion of this arsenal in terms of power can be compared with the explosion of a nuclear warhead. And in the morning of April 27th, the so-called local law enforcement agencies reported shots were heard near those warehouses. Several drones were also spotted in the sky above the arsenal. They were allegedly launched from the territory of Ukraine. It is the Kremlin style to accuse Ukraine of what it didn't do. After the explosions and shootings in the unrecognized Transnistria, 1,500 Russian troops were brought into full combat readiness, just like the local so-called armed forces for infantry brigades. In total, there are up to 7,500 soldiers stations in the city of Tiraspol, Benderi, Vrybnice and Dubosari. According to Western media, Putin planned to use them for the war against Ukraine. In addition, the territory of unrecognized Transnistria, sandwiched between Ukraine and Moldova, could become a springboard for the offensive of Russian troops, who could be transferred here, for example, from Crimea. In other words, the Kremlin probably planned to use the region 
in the same way as it uses Belarus today. Moreover, approximately every second resident of the region has the Russian citizenship. The Kremlin has been distributing its passports here since the early 2000s, and now he can try to repeat the same trick he has already performed in the Ukrainian Donbass to start hostilities under the guise of protecting Russian citizens. And the reason allegedly is a series of explosions in the so-called Transnistria. The situation continues to be very serious today. This is a frantic, as they say, warning. This is imprudent, arrogant, not a warning. I think that it will be stopped in a timely manner. We have all heard something similar about those mystical Nazis. For example, this was said by the head of the terrorist Donetsk People's Republic, Denis Pushilin. By the way, he recently stated that after reaching the administrative borders of the Donetsk region of Ukraine, Russia should start the new stage of the so-called military operation, given what is happening in the self-proclaimed Transnistria. And a few days ago, Rustam Minikayev, the acting commander of Russia's Central Military District, said that the Kremlin plans to break through the corridor to the occupied region through the territory of Ukraine. Therefore, the explosions in the unrecognized Transnistria are probably a provocation, another provocation by Russia, which wants to expand the geography of hostilities. However, now not only Ukraine, but also Moldova may be hit. The war is moving further and further west.